Like the huh? flakes, the flakes and the raisins, or what was better both about these. it? It's just both. You're mostly both. I mean, it's, just, it's just fucking recording. Wait, wait, wait. What? What did we have for number four and fucking five at the bottom of the list? Oh, we got it. I'll I'll send okay. you the file. Um, send you the file. Send you the file. Send you the file. Send you the file. What the fuck is it? Uh, do do Shouting at Goombas, episode two. That's that's what you're listening to, by the way, people. You're listening to me send a file to Stephen sexually. Is it happening? It's done. There you go. Okay, this is Shouting at Goombas episode two. Uh, shortly on. To the I um, well, I like the fact that you have uh, three the uh, the numbers and for five up um, all rearranged however you want. Three, pretty good. Four, two, five, and one. I, I wasn't gonna like. Uh, I wasn't gonna, gonna cut and them? paste. Okay. Yeah. It was. It was. <laughs> That was just to confuse you. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so later on, so hello, welcome to Shouting at Goomba's podcast, episode two. Later on in the episode, we will be disgusting, disgusting, <laughs> <laughs> not disgusting. We will be disgusting. Period. We will be discussing some of the um, <laughs> horrible cereals, and we will be discussing the good ones. Whoa, whoa, shit just got real. Yeah. Uh yes, later on in the show we're gonna be discussing our, our top five and bottom five cereals. Breakfast cereals. Because you Just need to remember, have breakfast. Uh, folks, this is um a mathematically perfect uh list. It is. We um Math from God. We se- we'll tell you about our process later in the show, but um all it's you need hot. to know for now is um that we stuck it through an algorithm and it determined which uh, cereals were top tier and which ones were bottom. Yeah. So just just love it. Wow. So so that's uh, that's some stuff that's going on in Smash Meow Meow Meow. So uh, what's going in and on around shouting at Goombas there, Stephen? Well, I can tell you what's going on. We got all kinds of stuff. Uh, just, uh, just today went up the first episode of First Impressions, uh, which featured Anodyne. Yeah, that was, um, a pretty good episode, actually. Um, game doesn't look horrible, just. No, it's it just a good looks game. really confusing the first time. Well, that was the big thing that, uh, yeah, I, I just, like, I got lost, and, um, like, it might have been my own stupidity, you know, like, my own experience that it happened that way. But yeah. then again, that just might be indicative of the game design that I got lost the way that I did, you know? It definitely looked um, like it was intended to be harder than, like, a typical Zelda game. Yeah. Um, like, but, I, I do, I enjoyed it, for sure. Yeah. But not, like, insanely hard. Yeah, just, it, it's, it was challenging, and, uh, like, there's a lot of great things about it. The graphics are awesome, like, totally retro aesthetic. Uh, and the music is brilliant. Like, I absolutely really loved it. It reminded me of, um, Silent Hill. Oh, yeah, big time. It was more, uh, more atmosphere than melody. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just like, just walking around, I kind of, like, got the chills, like, just in, like, a, the overworld kind of thing going on there. Yeah. Yeah, no, really good. Uh, definitely, like, hugely recommended. Uh, I actually haven't played past that first hour, but that's just because there's so much shit to play. Yeah. But, uh, but I would still recommend it, and I'm gonna play it to completion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play you yeah, to completion. Do it up. Steven. Uh huh. Play you to completion. Yeah, I heard you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh-huh. choosing to ignore it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so was there any, what else is going around the, how's your Minecraft show coming? Um, actually, I just finished the, um, the structure for the, um, 
for the uh the skyscraper like just the uh the actual structure of it there's like minimal amounts of windows and stuff right now so it just looks like a giant uh block a brick oh yeah so is there like uh like have you started recording like any footage or yeah i do have some raw footage um not of the skyscraper but of um a couple of the other projects that are done now the opera nice. house for one cool uh that, that well that's that's cool hopefully we'll be able to get that up sometime later in the week yeah yeah i'm going to have uh, posted uh a uh, schedule as soon as i get it all finalized Good. um yeah like uh so t- like today obviously is uh first impressions and uh tomorrow is when the podcast goes up and then Wednesday – okay, what, what are we on here? It's Monday Wait a today. Minute. What? The podcast and First Impressions on the same day? No, First Impressions is up today. Yeah. Podcast is up tomorrow. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Like, yeah, we're, like we're recording that. today, but it's not going up today. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't and know. Every time we do these things, usually, like, put them up almost the same day. No, I know. I'm sort of, like so – I'm going to try and, like, account for – you know, life shit. Sometimes you can't uh, do like do the recording and get it ready the same day. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm just like giving so that myself go fine then. Yeah, so th- this will go up tomorrow, and then uh, so Wednesdays is uh, Mumble Theater, uh, which right. I record with Nikita, uh, and then Thursday is um, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, Thursday will be like the. Like right now, it's called an Isaac a day, but uh, it's still to be retooled as a different show. Like it's, yeah. the, same, it's the same show, but it's going to be a variety of roguelike games. All right. Like any any game where like you can die permanently. Yeah. Um. Uh, I still I still got to work that out, but uh, I'll have it figured out. I don't by know. Thursday. You just um, if you have no shame, you could just call it um a roguelike a day. Yeah. But it, like it's it's not a daily thing. Like I had yeah. uh, I had Isaac going up every day, like for the longest time there. And just just change a, day to week. A rogue a week? Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll a rogue figure, like a week. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. But yeah. that'll go up. I I might even actually just release an Isaac a day this week and just give myself like the week to sort of you know get the all the Photoshop ready for the uh, for the new show title coming up next week. Yeah, give people the heads up. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and then uh, Friday is uh, will be the first episode of uh, Nostalgia go- Goggles. Awesome, I, waiting for that. Yeah. So, uh, what are you gonna be doing for Nostalgia Goggles first? I don't know. Maybe we should discuss that. Like, what might be a good? Oh, you know what would be good? Uh, the the first thing that comes to mind to me would be uh, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Uh, as what? much as I fucking hate that game. Why? Why? Like, like you hate it? It's fucking. I just fucking hate all the um the fan fucks. Did you? Okay. Did you play Final Fantasy VII when it first came out? No. Okay. Then, then yeah, it, it wouldn't work for you then, because like I played it when it first came out. Yeah. And that was way uh, before um, like the fans all fucked it up. Yeah, and um. Oh my god, Clinton Sephiroth, wah, wah, wah. No, I know, I know. But like, but back uh, in the day, like that, that, their dynamic was actually really cool, and like the game was cool. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe not Final Fantasy 7, like, like, you know, yeah, we could, the, do, what? We could do Super Mario 3. Oh, Mario 3? Uh, you know what? That's, see, that's kind of a hard one for me, because I, like, I probably play Mario 3, like, once a year. Oh, well, um, you know, like because it's so good. Yeah, but yeah, we'll we'll come up with something. It'll be good, whatever it is. Yeah, and uh, so that's the um, like that's the basic show schedule. Uh, and then like, yeah, like we we haven't figured out exactly like when your Minecraft show is airing. Maybe maybe we'll just make that Saturday. Could yeah. We'll make that Saturday, and then um, Sunday is like the day off or whatever. Got to go to church. Got to, <laughs> got to, got to go to church. Yeah, 
for all the yeah for all the devout Christians that are listening to this show. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so that's so that's sort of like the basic outline. What's going on? And uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, pretty exciting, right in the pants. So, uh, do you want to move on to the our five up, five down? Sure, unless there's any other news you uh, want to discuss. Well, I guess um, well, I guess Grand Theft Auto Five is coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I was actually reading. You can digitally download it, but there's almost no point. Why? Because everybody else is going to do it, so that's going to be a lot of server traffic. Oh, so it's like not going to be, you're not going to be able to download it until like tomorrow anyway? Probably. Like you can digitally download it through Steam or what? Through, I don't know exactly. Yeah, because I I know that uh, like the PlayStation Store doesn't update until Tuesday. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything about that. But like, I'm not going to be able to play it for like a week anyway because I I got it coming from Game Access. Oh yeah. Yeah. So and, and like you know like I'm excited for it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I, yeah. I've I've heard like a bunch of controversy going on about Grand Theft Auto about how like it's, there's always controversy well, with it, it's a it's a stupid Auto. one though. It's like it's that the game is quote unquote sexist. Because what? you can't, yeah, yeah. How is it sexist? You, because you can't play as a woman. Oh no! I know. Well, and then like, and I guess like the big focus is there are three uh, protagonists in this game, yeah. and all of them are men. Uh, you know, and it's like, uh, well, because immediately to me it's just like because that's the characters they wrote. Like, yeah, who, who exactly. The fu- who the fuck um, cares if there are women or men or and and like you know what? Grand I don't want to play as a woman anyway. I mean, sometimes yeah. when I'm playing as a female protagonist in games, she'll just go off wherever the fuck she wants. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'm not against uh, like female protagonists or anything. Like, I love Tomb Raider series and. All kinds of shit, and like, like I'll like, you know, I'll occasionally like play as a female in like Mass um, Effect or Metroid, other M, Skylar. So Samus will just start nagging at you right out of the blue. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Did you do the dishes? Oh my god. (laughs) Direct all your hate mail to Stephen at Stephen dot (laughs) Stephen. Uh. Uh. Yeah, no, um, yeah, whatever. It, it's just like the stupidest fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, that is ridiculous. Sexist, sexist because there's men. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know enough about sexism in general to even like really dig into it. I'm like, you know, like, I can't like. What's wrong with being sexy? Socially sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five is too sexyism. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was dumb. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Is there any other news that you can think of? Muster? No. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's really a whole fuck of a lot going on. Yeah. Um, um, there's, there's like some updates going on with the, the new Vita model. How the screen isn't as good as the current one. Oh, really? Yeah, and people are getting what, all slip? like, yeah, it's slim, it's slimmer, and like the screen is LCD, whereas the current model is uh, OLED. Oh, really? Yeah, like the current model has a better screen, uh, but the newer one is going to be less expensive. I don't know, I would have preferred um, an LED myself, but... Well, OLED is act- is the superior screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they put in, they put an LCD, like, in it, like, presumably to cut costs... Probably, and uh, yeah. and get more Vitas into more hands, and they're they're not yeah. saying that they're canceling the current model, you know, just that they're adding like another option with the slimline. Yeah, exactly. But people are getting all up in arms, and it's like, oh well, you know, the screen's not as good. Well, if you don't like it, buy the fucking current model. You know, yeah, I, exactly. I, I don't know. It's stupid. It's stupid, and I slapped them right in their slap hole. Yep. Yeah, so that's, I don't know, that's news. That's, that's, that's our version of news. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, so you want to move on to the to the Let's five do up, five downs, yeah. So we will go with uh, number five in the uh, good column here. You know, yeah, yeah. And that's going to be uh, hidden treasures. Now I'm going to tell you right now, like if you don't know what hidden treasures is, I, th- then you're everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. You- I hear hidden treasures. I always think of like a landmine or something in my bowl of cereal. <laughs> hidden treasures is death. No, hidden <laughs> treasures to me as a kid, like I fucking loved it. And like the big thing was is that all of the like all like the cereal all looked the same. They were like these um square, you know, cereal bits, but yep. some of them had icing in them and some of them didn't. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, man. So, like, I don't know. I just, I, oh, I loved man. it. Just eating. Let's eating play uh, Frosted Russian Roulette. <laughs> but it was like it was good. I loved yeah. it. It turned it turned my banana crank. <laughs> well, I guess it could have been worse. It could have been um, <laughs> like those every uh, flavored beans from her from Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, treasure for your cat litter. I, I, I re- yeah, I remember that it actually tasted good too, but it's hard to say because I was just like a like a stupid fat kid that ate everything. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> might have been just disgusting, just like eating my bowl of hidden treasures in between cheese whiz sandwiches. Oh God. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's that. So yep. move on to our uh, number five in in the in the down. Fuck! How the fuck? I can't believe we don't know how to word this yet. Okay, five up and five down. Yep. So yeah, number, number five. five in the um, the bottom tier cereals. Yep. <laughs> will be Cheerios. It is boring as all hell. Yeah, not a whole lot you can say about it. I mean, like, I, like it tastes good for a, <laughs> you mean, for a healthy it was, uh, cereal. For, uh, stick it up your little brother's nose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and like, I don't know, that's about it. Like, I, I know that like as a kid, I ate Cheerios and put fucking sugar on them. You know? Yeah. When when we didn't have honey nut Cheerios that came pre sugar. Yeah, exactly. It was it was just one of the um the cereals that would probably usually go stay on the cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get pushed to the back by all the kids. Yeah, it was okay, you know, but you know, it's fucking Cheerios, like what can you yeah. say? That's that's about all you can say. Uh so yeah, on to uh number four in the ups. What do we got here? Oh, this is this is you. Yeah. Um, you. Okay. Post Raisin Bran. Yeah. This, I, in my opinion, this version of Raisin Bran is superior to the um, so the Kellogg's version of Raisin Bran. I don't so know what, if they put crack in it or something, but yeah, it tastes a lot better than the uh, Kellogg's version. Like just and the like Kellogg's everything about was, it, or. Like the huh? flakes, the flakes and the raisins, or what was better oh, about it? It's just both. You're mostly both. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty good, man. Yeah. I'll have no, to, it's... if I ever see it, I'm going to buy some and eat it and not yeah, give you any. Yeah, try it out. Uh, cool. So number four and downs. Number four with downs. <laughs> <laughs> Fruity pebbles. Oh. You know, I don't know. Like this and like for me, like immediately is a toss up between this and Fruit Loops. Because yeah. I hate I hate I hate both. And I'm pretty sure they're both the same cereal. Yeah. Like, like just uh reconstituted into different shapes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I don't know. Like I think it's fucking gross. It is gross. You know, it's just really gross. Yeah, period. You know, it's like it's it's just gross. Like people are like, oh, let's get some Fruit Loops, and I'm like, um, why don't it's we just not. eat pig vomit? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. Like, it's there's n- really not much I can say. It's like, like normally I'm actually a fan of artificial fruit type flavors. Like, I love 
uh, like grape flavored stuff, especially. Yeah. Um, like, you know, like I, I like, I like that shit. I like Starburst. I like, you know, artificial fruit shit. I like fruit juice. <laughs> you know, oh like, man, I love artificial flavor. It, it, well, I, I, I do, you know, yeah. but, uh, this, uh, the, the fruit loops and fruity pebbles is like, ugh, fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah, mine. Uh, no, so let's move on to number three in the ups. And what do we got? Oh, we got honeycomb. Honeycomb's another good one. Um, I actually wanted to put this to number one, but Skyler was like, oh, no, can't. Well, it's, I don't know, like, it's good, but not that good. I don't know. <laughs> I so, used to, uh, put chocolate syrup on honeycomb all the time. Chocolate syrup? Yeah. And you know what? It didn't even need it, so that was just a bonus. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's all, you know what? I was actually, I just had a thought. I really like golden grams too. Oh, too anyway. late. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Honey, honeycomb's good. I, I liked it. I, I ate yeah. it. You know, like uh, whenever there was honeycomb around, I was like, hey, that's a cereal I could eat. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, number three in downs, and uh. and this is mini wheats. Kellogg's mini wheats, the um the wheat log that likes to sink. Yeah, I mean like and, um like a typical log you'll end up shitting it out after and you'll feel horrible. <laughs> I don't know, I enjoy my shits. <laughs> Not when you eat a bowl of mini wheats. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, like I agree. The big thing about mini wheats is I like I don't know, I, I like I like the flavor of them, but it's like you you have this golden five seconds of opportunity to eat it. Like yeah, it's, it's first five seconds that it tastes good, and then after that, it just all goes to hell. <laughs> yeah, it, start, it starts out like too crunchy in the milk, and then yep. like all of a sudden, like you'll be eating, it's like, oh, here, this was a good bite that I had just now, and then the next bite is like, hey, why am I eating slop? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's good ish. Uh, I actually like most often with mini wheats, I ate them dry. Yeah, mini wheats were quite a bit better dry. Just like as like a snack. Much. <laughs> yeah. Um, unless I brought, I don't know. Ah, fuck. You know what? I'm abandoning whatever joke I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my brain's like, stop. It's going to be too lame. And a joke. Um, okay, so number two in the ups frosted is flakes. Holy frosted flakes. That's a gooder right there. Yeah, that's a really good cereal. It's just all around good, you know, tastes good. Um you know, it's got sugar, you know, so it keeps you good and fat <laughs> 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 for when winter's coming. Yeah. Uh and that's that's what they were talking about in Game of Thrones. Yep. Yep. Eat frosted flakes. Yep. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I it was it was good. You know, it's it's just good. Is there anything yeah. else you can say? Well, I guess like Tony the Tiger was cool too. You know, I'd do him. <laughs> <laughs> Check out these hollow points. They're great. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just a robot chicken thing. You're a robot chicken. <laughs> um yeah so the, okay so number two in downs <laughs> oh, oh. <fucking> grape nuts <laughs> i'm glad i never um had the uh, opportunity to um uh, even see this in the grocery store no you know what it's just it's so lame that you probably <laughs> saw it and it just disappeared in even in front of your vision probably oh. like it's just like it's it's like a fucking constitutional cereal or something. Like it's meant to be put in with other cereals, I think. It's almost like um it's like one of those cereals that you give to uh Christian kids because you don't want them to get too <laughs> excited over Yeah. Anything. Well, like there's like there's like there's absolutely no sugar. I mean, that's obvious when you take one bite. You know, yeah. it's like it's like there's no sugar hasn't been anywhere near this cereal. 
No sugar. Uh, no taste. No taste. Like it, like if there is a taste, it, like if bland is a taste, then it's grape. <laughs> <laughs> it's grape nuts. Yeah. Hmm, tastes like bland. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's really shit. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay, well, so we're gonna be moving on to our number ones here, and we don't want you to get too excited, um, but you will, because they're yeah. that amazing. Uh, so number one, you want you want to announce number one in the ups there, Stephen? Sure. Cookie crisp, <laughs> fucking Best cookie cereal crisp. ever. It just is. Yeah. You know, like how can you go wrong with a bowl of cookies? Exactly. It's milk and cookies. It's, it's not milk, rocks, yeah. It's, it's just milk and cookies. No, and milk and cookies like is amazing. And somebody was like, "Hey, let's make mini cookies that you yeah. can eat." And like probably they probably like threw a vitamin in there every once in a while so they can yeah exactly it, keep the FDA off their back. <laughs> 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 but, but I mean, it was it's fucking cookies. Yeah, and you put milk in them. You know. It's it's the best, and um, the commercials were good too. Yep, like the yeah, their um their advertising campaign was actually really um creative. And the, the ones that I know that it switched up a lot, but like I remember the the I think of the dog. I think that was actually an advantage for them too, that it switched up so much. Yeah, because it kept it fresh. Well, like the ones that I remember the most was like the the dog and the cop. Yeah, me too. You know, like the dog's trying to get him and the cop's trying to keep him from getting them or some shit. Cookie crisp. Yeah, man. See, like, even when you, when you said that right now, it gave me an erection. <laughs> For a dog? Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> uh, okay. So now we're going to move on to the number one shit cereal of all time. <laughs> And uh I think you I think you'll agree. Yeah. Cuz it's Captain Crunch. Yeah. And or Captain like, Crunch, um, Captain smash your teeth and cut up your mouth. Captain Pain. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know what the sad thing is too is like the actual flavor of the, of it is good. You know what yeah. I mean? Like the the underlying flavor of the cereal is good. Uh I would enjoy it. But it's so fucking painful to eat it. <laughs> yeah, that you can't enjoy it. Tooth. I think, I think, I think that's what makes it worse. You know, it's probably some cereal that was invented during the recession or some <laughs> shit, <laughs> and they they had to cut corners. And they're like, here, let's just let's just you know, uh, I don't know, reconstitute these razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Throw throw these throw some sugar on some razor blades. Sell it to kids. <laughs> the ones that are stupid enough to eat it'll die out. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, it fucking it sucks. Yeah. There's really no way around it. Yeah, that really was the worst cereal ever. Yeah. Shma. Uh so there we go. There is the uh, five up, five down for the week. And that is the best and worst breakfast cereals of all time. And remember, you can't argue with us on this because this is no. our mathematically perfect algorithm that we can. It's up. math. Yeah, no, we we didn't spend three minutes before we started recording coming up with this list. <laughs> no, no. I've that's been not what we with did with this fucking list for two years. <laughs> two years. Yeah. And like with no breaks. <laughs> that, yeah. That's just every day. Yeah. Wake up, roll out of bed, start analyzing cereal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we we had to travel the world to come up with this list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay, what where we got? We're gonna move on to uh, currently playing, and this what we're currently playing. What are we currently playing? Your mom! Oh, oh! You know I don't even have enough snap in me. <laughs> uh, well, no. I can tell you what I'm currently playing. What I am currently current, I am currently playing uh Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD. Nice. I am I've been currently playing on and off um Shadow Warrior actually. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to do the co-op impressions. Uh Meh. And I'll just get really drunk and I'll probably all forget. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> forget it. Yeah. <laughs> 
drunken impressions. Yeah. Is it, is it still good when you're fucked up on whiskey? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. But I'll tell you, Kingdom Hearts 1, one of, well, this is my actually my first time playing Kingdom Hearts 2. Really? Uh, yeah. Have you played Kingdom Hearts? Nope. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that the first hour and a bit of the game is fucking bullshit. Yeah. It just is. There's like this, you're on a, you're on an island and they have you doing these like really boring fetch quests. So, oh. Like, and like the whole time you're just like, okay, like I want some Disney shit going on. Like that's why I wanted to play it. It's like a Squaresoft game. You know what? That's Mercedes why I didn't want to play it. Oh wow, really? I fucking love Disney shit. Nah. Really? Huh. I like this yeah. kid, but I don't know. My, I don't know. I, I'd uh, say my I, I love it was um, you do not put Disney characters in a video game. Really? By Square. Yep. Huh? Well, no, it's uh, it's universally praised as an excellent game. Uh, now that I'm further into it, I, I can I can tell you it's, it's uh, amazing. I'll, I'll think of some mathematically perfect algorithm why Kingdom Hearts is bad. You're a math. <laughs> you have to play it first, though. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, it's really good. I'm very much enjoying it. It's lots of fun. Uh, you know, like I I love Disney movies and uh, the Disney universes, so I'm really liking it. Uh, yeah. So fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so Shadow Warrior, is that, is that it? Yep. It's a good game, eh? Yeah. Yeah, fucking love it. Is it all, like, I haven't even, I don't think I've even booted it up yet. Is it all, like, HD remake? It's crisp. Yeah. Um, other than that, the uh, the graphics are more or less the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be, like, it's the same game. Yeah, it's just, just the classic Redux. Yeah. Um, cool. And that's, that's what we're playing. I, I, next week I'll be playing Grand Theft Auto 5, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's getting, of course it's getting high scores everywhere. Yeah. It's Grand Theft Auto. Exactly. They can't fuck it up. Well, I, it's not, and it's not just because it's Grand Theft Auto, it's because it's Rockstar. Rockstar doesn't make bad games. Yeah. Well, except maybe Bully. I liked Bully a lot. <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> and, like, have you played Bully? No. Well, then there you go. Uh, You're one of those, eh? You're the people that judge shit before you play it. <laughs> <laughs> you douche. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I should do. I'm gonna tie you down and make you play Bully in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's some good shit. Um, shmah. Uh, you Although, know, really, what? I have to say, I wouldn't mind, um, making a replica of a keyblade and beating some kid over the head with it. Yeah. <laughs> beaten, beaten off some kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, so, uh, we got, we got nothing else planned for like, <laughs> Specials and shit. You know, honestly, it's still like, uh. Actually, I think for specials, um, I might actually start doing, um, book readings if nothing else. What do you mean? Like book readings. Like, like from for books fucking you, have, you are World reading? Full of Ass Hats. Oh, yeah. Are you actually working on that? A little bit here and there when I'm not playing Minecraft and fucking about. Yeah. Like between twelve hour porn sessions. Yes. <laughs> uh yeah, well that would be good if I mean like that would especially be good if uh like if David was doing it with you. Yeah. Um if he ever actually does uh, an episode with us. Yes, yeah, but oh well. Yeah. Uh trying to get yeah, well we'll we'll come up with some stuff later on yeah. down the line. I guess um we'll move on to events. <clears throat> yeah, um I I don't really like I, I I don't have anything uh planned for events either. It would be nice to be able to be hosting some sort of like um some sort of like game night, you know? Yeah. Like where we could uh pick an online game and uh just like have a lobby with that people could join in and play with us. 
You know what I mean? Or, or we could, um, make a lobby and, um, play some really kick-ass game that everybody wanted to play and we could be like, um, no, I don't think you're allowed to join us. Um, but you can watch. Whoa. You, you're, you're fucking, you're <laughs> evil. Yeah, we'll come up with something, some kind of game that we like playing. Oh, shit. Hello? 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 Hey. Well, that, um, I ruined that joke, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do it again. What we could do, we could find some really good game that everybody wanted to play, and, um, we'll, but we'll make a private lobby. It'll be like, um... Wow, it'll be like the coolest party ever, but only you and I are invited. <laughs> Everybody else gets to watch. <laughs> That's that sounds really exciting. <laughs> if if I if I was like looking from the outside in, I would want to be in on that. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. Well, I don't know. We could find some kind of I don't know. Fuck. Like I, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. It some out. some kind of game that we like playing. Or actually, have it. Like, here's a pretty good event. How about we uh, make an event where Skype fixes itself and stops? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That went, that event is like scheduled for 2017. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I think I think that's it for the show for the yeah. day. Unless yeah. unless you have any other shit you need to say. Oh, we need to um, work on the outro. Work on the outro. Oh yeah, well I guess yeah, okay. The we, outro. This is the outro right now. <laughs> uh yeah, so I, I really gotta get a list of links up I can read out too. Uh we have our Facebook page and uh it's pretty simple. It's just Facebook.com slash shouting at Goombas. Um all one word. And uh I got a, I got a Twitter going on and that is uh Goomba Shouter. One word. Uh, you know, like spelled how it sounds. Goomba. G-O-O-M-B-A. Be the, uh, same thing for, um, for the YouTube page, right? Uh, the YouTube page is, you know what, I'm gonna find, I, I know that I had to rename it just recently. Uh, okay, channel, channel. Sorry. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's, uh, shouting at Goombas. All one word. That's all, it's all pretty unified. Yeah, you got the YouTube shouting at Goombas. Um, I know that I, I need to find a place to host just the MP3. Yeah. For the podcast, but I, I haven't done that yet. Um, what else is there? You got the Steam well, group. Hey, you know what we could do? We could sell our souls to Apple. Oh wait, no we can't. What, for iTunes? <laughs> yeah. Does it cost anything to put stuff up on iTunes? Just your soul. Maybe a lot well, of your dignity. I don't have very much soul left, so that's a bad deal for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't so know. That's, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I can sell myself to Apple like that. Well, I don't know. Like, I, I know, like, I'm not a big Apple consumer, so, like, I don't think of going to iTunes. But I know, like, there's probably a big base there. I don't know, whatever. We'll figure that out later. Yeah. Uh, as, as of now, like, that's what we have. We got, uh, Facebook, well, we got YouTube. They, um, they hear this podcast, we're not going to be able to, uh, put their, our stuff at Apple. Oh, they got, uh, no way, man. There's, um, there's some podcasts that I listen to that are, like, super vulgar that are up there, so. Yeah, but do they yeah. bash Apple? Like we're doing right now? Probably. Oh, well. I, I've, I'm just, I just bash an Apple. At home. I see. It's like, it's like, yeah, you Apple, you're a dick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there we go. There's episode two, serial and video games. What more could you ask for? Exactly. Like, nothing else, quite frankly. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, we do have, like, the theory is that we have two other guys that are doing this with us, but uh, they keep, you know, molesting each other's assholes. <laughs> 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 or whatever the fuck they're yeah. doing. Um, 
I'm working, so I'm tired. <laughs> or whatever. Whatever whatever the fucking reason is. I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to do it. Who knows? Yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah. So there's the show. That's episode two. Um, thanks for listening, you Goomba lovers, you. Bye.